The new Jordan 1 Low Golf Shoes are possibly one of the most anticipated pair of golf shoes ever to be released because they're based on the absolute classic legend that is the Air Jordan 1. And in this case, it's the low version. There have previously been golf shoes of the Air Jordan high version, but that was several years ago. And the kind of golf sneaker community has really come a long way since then. So there are a lot of golfers and a lot of non-golfers as well really interested in these new Jordan 1 lows. Not least because these are a spikeless version. So compared to something like you've got here, the Jordan 4s that come out last year, they were spiked and have got a much kind of harder outsole on the bottom of them. These are spikeless. And to be fair, you can easily wear these off the course as well as on it. Right here, we've got the Wolf Grey. And personally, I just think it looks class. It's my favorite of the three launch colorways. So you've got here this kind of gray upper material there combined with this lighter gray. You've got the black Nike swoosh there on the bottom and then you've got this kind of ice translucent sole on the bottom. You can see here on the hill that you've got the original Air Jordan logo. So that's the logo before the Jumpman came out. But you have got the Jumpman golf logo on the tongue. And you've also got it on the inside of the shoe as well. And just to confirm, yep, yeah, the insole is removable. And wow, that is a thin insole actually. So it says Alpha Light on the inside, so that's interesting. I didn't realize that the Jordan brand actually works with Alpha Light on the insole. You're not necessarily getting the most amount of kind of support from that there. Interestingly with the upper, it just feels like a regular Jordan 1. They've not necessarily treated this with anything. So I wouldn't expect this to be particularly waterproof. I don't even know if it will be waterproof at all with all those holes at the top of the toe box there. But compare that to something like the Nike Air Max 90 that we've got here. Again, this is a spikeless golf shoe that they developed last year. But this has got a kind of protective film over that mesh upper on this one, which means it's actually quite tough on the upper. It feels a little bit almost kind of plasticky really. Compare that to the Jordan and it just seems that you've got a regular leather upper. These retail in the UK for £115, which is a pretty reasonable price point for a pair of casual golf shoes that you can wear on and off the course. However, supply has been extremely limited in the launch so far. Hopefully, you're gonna be able to grab a pair and I'll include my affiliate links down below. Trying them on initially out of the box, I'd say that they just kind of felt like a pair of Air Jordan 1s. So they're not necessarily gonna be the most comfortable golf shoes or sneakers that you're ever gonna wear. They do feel a little bit firm, I suppose, underfoot. And I've got a feeling that there could be some pretty common issues when it comes to kind of blistering and breaking in these shoes out on the golf course. That said, I can't really give my full comment on that because I haven't had a chance to do them. So I'll have to reserve judgment and let you know in my full review how I got on with actually breaking these shoes in and how they fit and feel out on the golf course. You've got quite a lightweight tongue really. There's a little bit of padding in it, but it is definitely quite nice and lightweight. And again, the actual ankle and heel area just feels like a Jordan 1. So they've tried to keep these as true to a Jordan 1 low as possible. I would definitely say that you can go true to size with these. Although if you do like a little bit more room in that toe box, then you can always go up half a size. What that also means is that I would expect that these are going to crease quite a lot over that toe box there, which I know can frustrate a lot of golfers out there. You like your shoes to kind of stay as pristine as possible and not have that crease on the toe box. But that is something that you get with the Jordan 1s. I mentioned at the beginning why these are gonna be popular for golfers and non-golfers alike, and that's because of this outsole. So it is based on the classic Jordan 1 outsole pattern, but it is slightly more aggressive for the golf course. So you can see actually here, if you take a closer look, then all of these kind of little rubber nubs have kind of been angled at the front there to give you a little bit more grip and traction. And again, at the heel there, you've just got some slightly more aggressive traction nubs on the back of the shoe. So that means that you're easily going to be able to wear this shoe off of the golf course as well as on it. In fact, I'd go as far to say that it's probably going to be better off the course than on. It's not got the most aggressive traction on that outsole. So I would say that this is definitely more of that casual style shoe. You're not really going to want to be relying on this to give you the ultimate premium traction out on the golf course. The same goes for the stability of these shoes as well. Because this was originally designed for 80s basketball, it's not really been designed as an upper with golf in mind. So they're not really giving you a huge amount of support there in that upper. So again, got to say, these are for the look, the style, for repping out on the course, for expressing yourself and who you are and who you want to be out on the course, but they're not necessarily about performance out on the golf course. That said, I don't care. Personally, they look so cool. Whether it's at the driving range or just out on the course having a chilled round with my friends, 
These are gonna be definitely in my rotation this summer. A couple of very close up details. You can see here that you've got some texture patterning on that midsole there, and it's just quite firm as Air Jordan 1 midsoles are. And the other thing that I did just wanna point out as well is that on the outsole, you can see there that it's actually made up of the little stars on the outsole at the front there, and then you've just got the rest of the plain rubber as you go further back on the outsole. There's been a lot of frustration in the golf community with the launch of these Jordan 1 lows, and I can kind of understand it really, because in the sneaker world, it's pretty much accepted practice, or maybe not accepted, but at least common practice, that is really difficult to get hold of launch sneakers or limited edition sneakers. A lot of the golf community, however, probably haven't got that same experience. When it comes to golf shoes, generally, they launch, there's plenty in stock, and you can buy what you want. So to have this classic sneaker-looking pair of golf shoes at an affordable price point become available, then I can understand why there's so much frustration when so many people didn't really get a chance to get a hold of these. As soon as they went live, they were sold out. As soon as some more retailers announced more drops, they were gone. So it has been really difficult to get a hold of these. However, that's just the way the game is played at the moment with Nike and the sneaker world in general. It is what it is. And unfortunately, the more that the kind of sneaker world blends over into the golf world, that's just something that's gonna transition across as well. So from a golfer's perspective, I think we've just got to get used to it. And fingers crossed, the sneaker gods are with you and you're lucky enough to grab a pair. If you like the idea of some casual Nike golf shoes, then why not check out my full review of the Air Max 90Gs.